Well, good evening, YouTube channel. This is Belmont here. And I know I've been coming out with a lot of videos lately. And what I do on my videos is I talk. And people are enlightened or they learn. Well, I know my last video caused up a stir in a certain subset of a subset of people. Specifically... Discord and the so-called Extraordinary League. And specifically, it also caused a bit of a stir with one Matthew Davies of Matt's Lockpit. So, I got an email from uh, Davies at 7.07 in the morning. And he started off by trying to address me by my many names. None of which are correct, since I can neither confirm nor deny. And he admits who he is, but uses plenty of expletives in the entire email to do the talking. And when I say expletives, I do mean profanity. And this is also confirmed through his own videos on his channel. Now, I don't consider someone who's making videos, but you're using profanity to express every single thing. I'd hardly call that enlightening or educational but he tried to dissuade me from thinking that what is said on discord is a threat and he also said to read between the lines he also admits to lurking on Discord and seeing conversations go by, but then saying they are not a threat, they are not capable. Well, I have this to say. I have the screenshots. I know where they come from. I know who said them. If you're talking about doing any type of electronic sabotage of someone's email or hacking that's a crime and it also says that yes you're bored you don't have anything better to do but to try and harass someone the movie hackers that came out in the 90s with johnny lee miller and angelina jolie was almost of a similar nature young teenage hackers who get bored and try and create mischief. But what they end up doing is breaking a lot of laws that are punishable. Now, I'm not going to go into the details of the movie. If you lived in the 90s, chances are you saw the movie. Enough said. Now, on Discord, Dalp's group, led by him, are nothing more than a bunch of children who have entirely too much time on their hands. And yes, they might have the skill for computers to do malicious acts. Okay, good for you. But if you have that ability... Why, well, for one, if Dalp is actually a computer hacker, why are you still a mechanic? Why are you not, I don't know, working for some software company in Australia and you know, providing a greater future for your family, if that is actually possible? I do know that 
anyone who would try and think they're a hacker or code kid or whatever is nothing more than an ignorant child who simply wants to cause trouble because they think they can. But you're still going to get caught. Do I know this for a fact? Yes. You see it on the news every day. Now, do I trust anything that Matt Davies says? No. Based on the fact that his first time contacting me, you're going to use profanity to express yourself in an email. And you mention a snake in the grass is closer than I think. Well, sure. And yeah, I do know who gave out my name and address. And you still couldn't spell his name properly. So I guess that says a little something about lacking in education where you come from. More emphasis is put on profanity rather than proper spelling. And yes, I know who it is. And yeah, it was Taku. And the only reason he did that is because he made it well known before he got mad and pissed off at me to where he thought that I was only using him to get free merchandise or free shit as it were and that I wanted nothing to do with anything walk sport just get freebies well my friendship to him and his friendship to me has proved that wrong and the fact that he got mad because he was misinformed by people like Dalp and others it's not a crime to be misinformed. It's not a crime to get angry. And when I had the conversation with Taku today, yeah, he said he was sorry. I accepted his apology and told him, it's fine. Everyone gets mad. Everyone gets angry. Everyone gets frustrated. And... Everything was fine. I still see him as a friend, a good friend. I know him to be a good person. Now, I have never really felt like I was part of the Locksport community, simply based on the fact that I was told to be excluded or shunned by others. And going right from the top, Dalp, and all the way down to others who disagreed with my opinions about things. Yes, I'm entitled to an opinion. Everyone is. I can make up my own mind about people and have done so. I trusted my instincts and they served me well. It showed me that people like Dalp are snakes. They really are disgusting and slimy and malicious people. Now, when it comes to the general Locksport community, I'm referring to channels that are under a thousand subscribers, the ones who are always doing giveaways, give away this, give away that, give it away, give it away, give it away now to quote the Red Hot Chili Peppers. The majority of your subscribers are going to be other YouTubers who are lock sporters, who have other channels of their own. So when those rando drawings pop up and the number or comment generator pops out, it generally ends up being another YouTube channel who's a lock sporter. So the prizes don't really go to people who are without. 
they're going to people who already have an overabundance. I know this for a fact because I look at the comments. I don't see who your entire list of subscribers are, but I know that you keep it so tight knit that everyone subscribes to everyone else. It's interlocking. It's close knit, close quarters. So everyone gets everyone else's shit or cast offs. I do know for a fact that Bosnian Bill is, in fact, a shill. He encourages people to give him money. So he is essentially bumming money off people, including his subscribers and viewers, if they feel sorry enough to join his lock tribe, to pay $5 a month to see his videos 24 hours in advance before it's publicly posted for free. When he does a giveaway, he directs you to a website that has ad traffic. He gets cash. He also is paid by Sparrows in cash to endorse Sparrows products. Now, I have have had beef with certain channels when I see something wrong or I see someone respond to a comment and you can't spell anything properly. And I have corrected spelling on a certain YouTuber, Lockmania. And because I corrected someone's spelling and pointed out saying, hey, are you incapable of spelling correctly after looking at someone else type the same thing? And I was called a bully for that or a troll. No, that's expressing an opinion. And it might seem wrong to others, but when it comes to spelling, grammar, pronunciation, it does matter. If you've graduated from high school or primary school or secondary upper school, however it is in Europe, United Kingdom, Belgium, or wherever, your spelling and your pronunciation and your education matter. Your ability to spell correctly will determine if the job you are in is going to be a higher paid one that requires, well, intelligence. Now, do I believe there's any intelligence in Dalp and his cronies? who want to be malicious. I believe there is some intelligence, but it's more of a malicious type. If you supposedly have this ability to hack or something, go get a job that pays more than what you're currently making. Show those skills in a white hat, gray hat fashion. Do that and make a better living for your family, your children, your wives, your boyfriends, or whatever. Do that and be smart about how you handle things. Now, for me, I don't always pick locks on camera. This channel has seen me pick a single lock only as proof to the certain truly malicious troll of a channel, Dalp. With the pick a lock Raymond or what have you. So 
Yeah, I picked a lock. No one made a specific challenge saying, hey, pick such and such lock. No. It became the hashtag pick a lock Raymond. And that was proven that I picked a lock. Now, I know there are other YouTube channels lurking, watching these videos. You give your thumbs down to me. And you know what? That's fine. Lurk all you want. But I know you're out there. I know what your intent is. You don't like the fact that I have an opinion and it's not the same opinion as yours. You think you could exclude me or say, well, you're not a luck sporter. You're not this, you're not that. I started this channel as a hobby for myself, my disability. Yes, I admit there's a couple of screws up in my head loose. Do I want to go into detail about what they are? No. It's no one's public business. But if my close friends want to know, sure, I tell them. Now, I'm going to keep making videos. I'm going to keep calling out things where I see it. And yes, if I do happen to see new channels on the rise who get their three seconds of fame through Nurse Helpful, I'm going to look at them, sure. I'm going to comment. I'm going to point out a few things. And hey, if that person responds to me, that person has a look at my videos, great. If they want to subscribe, sure, more power to them. If they don't, still, great, more power to them. I didn't start this channel to get subscribers or views. And I am very much aware that I have two videos that have exceeded 400 views. A simple piece of wire coat hanger bent into a snap gun. And the R Reddit belt rank. Still getting views, still well past 100, 400. So I get more views than the channels that are lower than a thousand subscribers. Okay. So I guess that makes me like Howard Stern. Someone who's sensationalism, controversial. Okay. So I'm controversial. I can appreciate a little bit of controversy. Do I really want all the attention? Eh. Does it matter? Eh. I didn't start it up for uh, controversy or views or subscribers. I simply did to show off the tools that I have. And I still do. I give my opinion. I offer my thoughts on tools and how to use them. I'm learning a skill that could easily build into a very high-paying job if I choose. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I know you people are out there. I know who some of you are. And I know that you're watching. So keep watching. See you next time.